195. Let's get to another random film, which is Oz, The Great and Powerful, which came out in 2013, directed by Sam Raimi, who did the original Spider-Man trilogy, the Evil Dead films, the OG ones, Doctor Strange 2. It stars James Franco, Michelle Williams, Rachel Weiss, Mila Kunis, Zach Braff, Bill Cobbs, Joey King, Tony Cox, a few others. And the synopsis is, a small-time magician is swept away to an enchanted land and is forced into a power struggle between three witches. So I figured this one would be a cool one to talk about because, for one, it seems to be sort of forgotten. And I really love Sam Raimi across the board, plus basically everyone in this cast. And then also we have Wicked Part 1 coming out in a couple of months. So, And I remember when I first saw it, I didn't have a huge film background at the time was vaguely aware of Sam Raimi, but the main draw for me was, cool, it's a big blockbuster fantasy fairy tale sort of film. I'll go see it. And I don't think I'd maybe seen it once or twice over the years since, but remembered very little about it. I did really enjoy it at the time. And re-watching it now, I'm still a big fan of it. I don't think it's a five out of five. I don't think it's Sam Raimi's best movie. I don't think he's ever probably going to top Spider-Man 1 and 2, but I've really enjoyed Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I like Drag Me to Hell, so I just will watch anything Sam Raimi does. But for this one in particular, starting off, I love the opening in black and white with the box ratio and that very classic, almost silent film era-esque style to the movie. And then when James Franco enters Oz. It's super colorful and widescreen and looks amazing. And one thing that, because I know a lot of people really rag on this movie, I don't totally get why, in comparison to a lot of other Disney reimaginings, live action films, whatever you want to call it, that seem to get glowing reviews. I think this one is kind of underrated. One thing that I've read is people don't like the cast. Like they really criticize that a lot of people in it are miscast. I completely disagree. I really like James Franco. I really like all three witch actors, Michelle Williams, Mila Kunis, Rachel Weiss. I think they're great. I love the costumes. I like Zach Braff, Joey King. Like I have no problems at all with anyone in this movie, so I'm a little baffled as to why that seems to be at least a pretty popular opinion. The look of Oz, I think, you know, some people also, they say the effects are goofy, which I understand that in theory. And there were even points where I was thinking, oh, yeah, that is a little, a little fuzzy, I think, in terms of the quality. But at the same time, it's just me maybe loving Sam Raimi. But considering he already has a very 80s, campy, pop art, animated look to a lot of his films. I don't mind that. I think it fits his visual aesthetic. And so I'm never really upset that there are possible, let's just call them flaws in the effects. I still think overall the colors, the vividness of the world itself looks amazing still. I love the look of the China Girl, the Yellow Brick Road. I think some people also don't like how Mila Kunis looks when she becomes the Wicked Witch. I don't mind that at all either. I think it looks good and it works for the context of the movie. So the main storyline, you know, there's nothing amazing as it is with most of these films. It's just a classic fish out of water story. And he has to find, of course, he's lying about who he is. He's not an actual wizard. He's just a carnival magician. And he's been making money off of tricking people. So he has to find a way to lead all of these fantastical creatures in a way that suits his skill set. And it's not who they expect him to be, but he's still able to accomplish that. And I think that's a good message. You may not be the cookie cutter figure, follower, leader, whoever, creator that people think you are, but you can still find ways of making something work and being successful. 
talking about visuals though, because Sam Raimi has such a great eye, even in a movie like this, for really interesting visuals. I think my favorite is when at the end they use the projector to project Oz's or James Franco's face onto the smoke in order to intimidate the witches. I think that still looks really, really good. And the speech that he gives, it's a fantastic end. Really, all the look of the creatures, like the the water fairies, whatever they call them, I like the look of that. Like, they're just weird, creepy at times, Tim Burton-esque designs that really stick with me. And I, even though I remembered not a whole lot about the plot itself, even having not seen it in almost 10 years probably, this movie, for whatever reason, really stuck with me. And it feels way more creative and inventive and fresh and truly actually funny. Mainly through performance, though, which is maybe why it holds up for me. But I think it is a very entertaining, it's not too long. I think it's paced well. The score is good. Also, going back briefly to Mila Kunis as the witch, I love when she's flying away on her broom and there's the black smoke. Like, there are just so many little things that, to me, add a lot more impact and world building and interesting ideas than a lot of others in this same vein. It almost reminds me a little bit of Wonka with Timothy Chalamet, like this unconventional origin story. Oh, and before I forget, I do really love the original Wizard of Oz, as I think most do. I think it's a classic, and I couldn't say enough about how much I love Wizard of Oz, and I highly encourage you to watch it if you have not yet. And even though I'm not dying to see Wicked, I'm still very curious, and I wouldn't mind spending more time in that world. Another visual that I like, or character design, is when Mila Kunis is brokenhearted because of James Franco, and she starts crying, and her tears are burning tears, and she gets these jagged scars. So overall, you know, I think it held up way more than I thought it would, and it's one that I definitely see myself going back to every so often. So that one is a heavy four out of five.